Hi, uh, my name is Yi Ting, and I'm very glad and honored to be here to present my Google Sum of Code project. Uh, my project is called Rocket Chat Teams Bridge, uh, and my mentors Gabriel, Yash, and Fabio. So, first, a uh, briefly introduction for myself. Uh, I'm living in Seattle now, and I'm uh, just finished my uh, first year at Northeastern University, where I'm pursuing my computer science master's degree. And then, uh, my project is called Rocket Chat Teams Bridge. The why we should uh, this application is that many uh, administrators and users of open source Rocket Chat Teams Chat will have needs to bridge between their open source users and legacy use your own team. So this project creates a Rocket Chat application that acts as a bridge between Rocket Chat and Microsoft Teams to enable cross-platform messaging. So users on one platform is able to chat with the other on another platform seamlessly. And also rich interactions, including direct messages, emojis, embedded graphs, links, files are uh, also supported, and operations like deleting, editing message are also supported, and we also support group chat. Now I would like to do the lively demo first. Here, this is Rocky Chat, and I'm trying to mimic a uh, user keys. So this is Yu Ting. He's a uh, she's a uh, me, a Rocket Chat user. And now I want to chat with a Teams user. I want to chat. For example, I want to chat with Alex. I can search Teams user in search bar. So for example, now we see we find Alex uh, with the uh, Teams bot surfix to indicate that. So here. We find Alex and we say hello. And now, as you say, this message was will not deliver to Alex since I need to uh, log in my Teams account first, and I got this notification to you know uh, imply me to log in, and I can click the button here, and I can log in my Teams account. So this is. My sorry, a typo. And I need to verify that. Okay. Now, as you say, I successfully log in my Teams account and I can close this tab. Now here, I'll try again. Hello. Yeah, here, this is in Teams. This is, you can see Alex Teams. So Alex received my message, hello. And he can reply to me. You can also add images like this. Now you can receive the message with the emoji and you can would like to send files to Alex. Here you can and their file. Uh, for example, we send this document uh, proposal PDF. And we can add description. This, this is the doc of my proposal. Here we can send this doc files to Alex. And here in Teams, Alex received this files and we try to open this. So it works fine. 
Now, Alex can also send files to Yukin. Uh, for example, we can send Yukin an image. Like, we can try an image here. Here, we send Yukin an image. This is King's logo. Check here. Yeah, this is King's rocket chat, and we can receive this image and also the message. And we can also um, send um, links to Alex. We tried that. So, for example, here is my documentation, and I copy this link, and we can send this link to Alex. This is the preview in Rocket Chat, and we check Teams. Here in Teams, Alex received this link, and he can just click this link to open the web. Oh, it works very fine. So, um, and here we can type sex. Here, Alex receives this message. And he noticed that, is it a typo? And, well, here we can, can add this message. Okay. You see here, we change this to thanks. We open Teams. Oh, it's already been changed, so Alex can delete this message. We check in Rocket Chat. Here we see that this message has been successfully deleted. So we support uh, multi operations on message and also multi content forms with the message. And then I would like to demo the group chat. So you can would like to. Uh, invite another Rocket Chat user called Jinx to uh, create a group chat. Here she can create a discussion and we can choose which teams. We name it like Teams Demo Day. We invite Jinx and also you can invite any other Rocket Chat users to this group chat and we create that. Okay, here we create a group chat, but we want to also invite Teams users to our group chat. Here we see there is an option and we can see this button, add Teams user here. So here we can see this is the list of all the Teams bot users in, in the organization and we can also search any user. Search Alex. Okay, we can invite Alex to our group chat, you can see here Alex has already joined the conversation and um, we can say hi Jinx and um, hi Alex. So as you can see, this is a, a notification that uh, you, you, you know that there is a uh, uh, team spot users in this conversation. So we will uh, notify the users that uh, this uh, Yukin user has already logged in his Teams account. She will become a bridge user to deliver all the messages sent by unlogging users. For example, in our conversation, Jinx is unlogging users. Here, this is Alex Teams. He's in the group chat. He received the message, hi Jinx, hi Alex, and we'll check Jinx. Sorry. Uh, yeah, here, this is Jinx Rocket Chat, and she's already in this team's demo day, and she also can uh, she received the message and she can also chat with each other. We will say, hi, Yu King. 
Uh, hi, Alex. Yeah, we can we check Teams now. So as you can see, uh, the Jinx message was delivered by the booking. Um, we use card to represent this bridged message, and we also notify the users this is a bridged message. So the user ex experience is like this. So I think this is this, all the things about my demo. Yeah, try to open up. So next, I would like to explain my implementation of how this cloud platform messaging works. So we know that we have Rocket Chat users and we have Teams users in one organization. So what I do is to create dummy users. We call this uh, Teams bot uh, in Rocket Chat for each Teams user. And we, uh, for those who doesn't have Teams account, we invite this Rocket users as our Teams guest users. So next, if one user, for example, Yu King in Rocket Chat wants to chat with Teams user Alex, she can search Alex in a Rocket Chat. And she will find a Teams bot Alex in Rocket Chat and she can uh, directly message him. And what our uh, Bridge app do is to, uh, uh, with the embedded login, uh, we get the uh, uh, authorization with Wikin, so we can call Microsoft Graph API to uh, send message to Alex in Teams representing Wikin. Next, when the Alex wants to reply to Wikin, he can just uh, uh, strictly reply in the Teams, and our apps do is to subscribe the Teams update notification and we got the message of Alex and we can send this uh, message to uh, Rocket Chat, Yuki in Rocket Chat. So the total view of our application is that uh, the experience, uh, user experience is in Rocket Chat, a user Yuki is talking with another kind of bot Alex user. And in Teams, the Alex is also chatting with another user. So this chatting is seamlessly. And the dotted line is the logic behind our application that we delete these messages. So this is the overall architecture of my application. So the key point here is that first we built the first webhook to receive callback from Teams to when someone is logging. And uh, if a user logging and we uh, got the authorization and we can build the second webhook to subscribe the update notification. So this is key point. And then I would like to introduce the uh, kind of timeline sketch. Um, so the bonding um, period, I think is very uh, useful for me. Uh, we discussed my proposal with my mentors and we compare the uh, different implementation approaches. For example, Asia Bot framework, BIAS dummy user approach. And we also discuss the user experience design. And then I do the setup and then I do admin setup and user embedded login and then inbound and outbound messaging. So as the midpoint, I achieve the feature that one-on-one -on -one text messaging. And then I extend the messaging type, for example, uh, operation type and more uh, uh, content type. And then I to do the group chat. And to, today is the demo day. And after the demo, I would like to do more improvements and do the documentation for this project. So this is the main challenge that I met during this process. So first one is how to you know, implement the cross-platforming feature. So uh, at the original proposal, I uh, proposed to do the dummy user approach. Uh, it's this also the implemented approach. But um, my uh, mentor, uh, Gabriel, uh, raised some business concern. So we also did some research on the Asia bot framework work approach and we compile this approach and we make a decision. 
and then it's about the user experience design. So I think um, from some point of view, the goal of these projects is uh, ambiguous. So I think first we need to um, make sure what we want with the user experience that we can uh, better implement the, the tech uh, solutions. And third thing is about create new users in Apps Engine. So I know for now uh, our Apps Engine have some interface to uh, to build new users, but they haven't been completed. Uh, so uh, we did some discussions about to you know um, do some modifying Apps Engine to support my create new user features. And I did met many tech blockers during the entire process. So not only the listed here, uh, thanks to my mentors there, people that I can rely on, they solve many of my uh, pro, uh, tech issues. So thanks my mentors. And this is the future work I would like to do. Uh, first one is very important, we need to publish new apps engine version to support user creation on the security requirement. Uh, this is very essential for my project. And then uh, we would like to improve the user experience. For example, we can uh, support the add tag and we support message react and also the admin setup verification. And then I would like to uh, improve the group chat. For now, the group chat is uh, kind of first version and we can do more uh, research on group chat. And then, uh, as I mentioned, we have to do some research about the Asia bot framework. So uh, this is a demo that I, I have done at the beginning. And I think this is also possible to, to do the uh, bot framework to enable this uh, cross-platform cross -platform messaging. Yeah. And finally, I would like to give my heartfelt thanks to all my mentors, Gabriel, Yash, and Fabio, and also the entire Rockjet community. So thank you so much for your assistance, suggestions, and encouraging offer to me. It has been a wonderful journey for me. Thank you. It was a real pleasure being your mentor. So thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that was really impressive. I can see here on the audience a lot of questions, and uh, that it was very seamless. The, the integration is, is very, uh, very difficult process, right? That uh, to, to think about it and to, yeah. to actually implement it. So it was really, really well done. Congratulations! Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's very good. So uh, we have some questions here, probably. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this are uh, is is using uh, web hooks, right? Uh, yes. Method. Yeah. Because I saw the local host, I said, well, maybe it's consuming the, the web sockets, but you do receive them from the web hooks uh, and then do all the work. So you need, yeah, you have the ng rock there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice, nice. Very good. Very good. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> 